Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're doing an Android 101 post on how to video call and how to use your front facing camera. Okay, so if you bought an Android device anytime recently, it probably has a front facing camera on it, um, or at least there's a good chance. Now, the front facing camera is a relatively new feature to Android, but is becoming more and more of a standard feature. Um, more and more phones are having it, so it is a good idea to get familiar with it. Now, there's a few things you can do with it. One of them is that you can actually open up the camera app if you have a newer Android device. See, I'm looking at the back camera right now, which is the normal camera you would use. But if you tap this little symbol here, you can switch to the front camera. Now you're seeing the roof and me. So you can use this to check out yourself, I guess, and realize that you need to shave. Um, or, you know, look at stuff in your teeth or something like that. Um, some people also use this to take pictures of themselves. I know a lot of girls that do that. Instead of holding out their camera and trying to guess if they're in the picture frame, they use the front facing camera and take a picture that way. It's definitely a Facebook whatever type of picture. Um, but besides this, uh, and just kind of doing little novelty things like that, you can also use it for what it's mainly used for, which is video chat. Okay, so how do you do video chat? Well, um, Honeycomb has this feature kind of built in, so tablets, Android tablets, have this feature built in um, to Gtalk, and we're gonna assume that that'll eventually be coming to devices in a new version of Android. But in the meantime, there is no native way to do it. You have to use a third party application. Now, one of the ones that's very popular that you can download from the market or it might already be on your device is called Quick, spelled Q-I-K. And you'll see the T-Mobile video chat. So I believe if you, if you have T-Mobile, you can use this. Otherwise you can't maybe. Um, I'm not really sure if you use the quick video or the regular application if you can do video chat as well. But besides that, uh, you can do Tango is a popular one. And I know that one works on all devices. So if you tap that, you can also type in video call, obviously, into uh, the market to see what comes up or video chat. Either one will work. Um, you'll get different apps with each one. And then this one will tell you that uh, not only does it work on 3G and Wi-Fi, it works on Android, it also works on iPhone. So if you have iPhone friends that have, that can download the Tango app from the App Store, an Android device and an iPhone device can do a video chat, and that's pretty cool. Um, I love these cross-platform applications. I think, uh, I think they're gonna get more and more popular. But we'll install this. We already have it. So we're gonna open it up and show you how to use it real quick. Now they're all gonna basically work the same way. You open them up, they have a list of your contacts that either already have the application um, or you know contacts that you've put in that you wanted to contact. In this situation, it automatically goes through all of your contacts and finds the ones that have Tango already installed. So you can scroll through this and you'll see, I got a lot of friends that actually do have it. So um, this is probably one that I would use. So obviously, you and the person that you're gonna to talk to need to have the same application. You both have to have Tango or you both have to have Quick, etc. Otherwise, uh, it won't work. So whoever you wanna chat with, you need to tell them to download the same app. So if it's Tango, tell them to download Tango. If it's Fring or one of the other ones, tell them to do the same. So basically all you do is you click on one of these people and we'll initiate a video call. And that's pretty much it. Um, assuming that you have a good internet connection, wherever you are, whether you're on Wi-Fi or 3G, it'll just automatically pop up and start doing a video chat using the camera on the front. You can also, in the program, switch to the camera on the back if you wanna say, show something uh, that you're looking at without losing sight of the person on the phone. Um, and that's it. So that's pretty much how you do a video chat. Uh, hopefully Google will integrate this into Android at some point in time, but in the meantime, this is the way to do it. So enjoy. Thank <laughs> you.